What's up you guys? It's just new me and I wanted to get on here. As promised, I said that I was going to update you guys regarding what has been happening during my first week of full week of residency. Um, for those of you that don't know, I am a new intern um, in an OBGYN residency program. And yeah, this is my life now. So um, those that follow me have definitely been interested in knowing how it's going and what I'm doing. And I do put stories on Instagram basically every day and I don't save them. So if you're not on Instagram, you're not following me, then you probably won't know what's going on. But that's fine if you don't want to know. But if you do want to know, make sure you're following me there. All right, so first week of residency. So residency starts in the US on July 1, usually. Um, for my residency, and I'm only speaking what's happening to me and what I'm experiencing, I can't speak for all residencies because I do not know. And I actually don't even speak for my residency. This is just my experience that I'm having. Um, so we had like orientation the first day and then the holiday happened and so we had a little bit of orientation like on the second but we were off like you know for the holiday which was really nice and so our first full week started after the holiday um i am on an ob rotation our rotations are like six weeks long and um on this ob, rot OB rotation it's like three weeks of nights and then three weeks of days um for me just the whole transition from medical school to now intern has you know it hasn't been really challenging like per se but it's just different it's just different that experience for me is different um <laughs> i find myself sometimes feeling like i'm still like a medical student right versus a doctor <laughs> um i remember i i like signed my first prescription and i was like i have to sign this like you know <laughs> it was like I felt weird, you know, but when I signed it, I was just like, oh my God, that's my name on that prescription. And I just signed a prescription to give to someone. I'm a doctor, you know what I mean? <laughs> but the nurse thought I was so cute. But anyway, so that, you know, I'm just trying to like, just move into that space, right? I'm physically there. And I'm getting there mentally as well, but I'm, I haven't completely gotten there, but I know it will come. So that's the one thing. And it's early. We just started our residency. So I know it will come soon. Um, but things that I've learned just in this first week, oh my God, it's so much I've learned in just this first week. Um, so in our, just before I tell you what I've learned, I'll just say like, you know, in an OB rotation, especially the one that I am in, you have to be able to manage like triage patients, labor inpatients, postpartum patients, maybe some interpartum patients. Um, and that's on the, you know, work side really of like patient care. The other part is you have to be able to have time management and be able to be efficient on their um, EMRs, which we use Epic. I don't know if anyone is familiar with that, but I have only had like one month experience with Epic. So coming in, I, I was already very nervous about using Epic because I knew that it was challenging to me because I didn't really have that much experience with it. And when I did have my month long experience, when I did my sub eye, I just saw how complex it can be if you're just not really sure about what you're doing, right? And you're just not computer savvy like me. <laughs> Um, but I mean, I get a lot of help and that's really good. And I try to like, just take notes on things. So I don't have to keep asking the same question of, you know, how do I do this or how do I get to this or whatever? So I try to do that and I'm trying to navigate it and it is happening, but it's, it's slow. Right. Um, but it is happening and I am learning it better, which is good. Um, my goal is to definitely be a lot more efficient with it within like the next week or two um, because Epic or just EMRs in general, I can speak for myself. I'm a slow typer um, and I need to be able to dictate. So that's what I'm going to start doing to make it faster. But if you're not, if you're not good with the EMR, it can definitely affect your time management. And that's kind of, I think that's been like the most challenging thing for me is just Time management, just trying to make sure that I get things in 
um, in a timely manner where no one is waiting for me or, you know, I'm just ready and prepared for the next task or phase of my shift that may come up, you know? Um, so that is something that I really, really, really want to get down packed. Um, and then, you know, being able to apply everything that I'm learning is really important. So back to the stuff that I learned this week. So we have intern school that basically has been developed for us from one of our chief um, residents. She's our education resident, our chief education resident. And um, I, she did such a good job with developing this and being able to give us this information and letting us learn how to do it with hands-on experience. I actually used all that stuff this week. It was basically the same day I used it. Um, so some of the things would be amniotomy, which I is basically, you know, being able to break someone's bag. So I learned how to do that this week. I also learned how to do a, IU, a IUPC, which is basically a intrauterine uh, pressure catheter that you put in to measure contractions. Um, cervical checks, that's very important, right? So you can't be OBGYN and not know how to do cervical checks. <laughs> so learning how to do that, I'm still learning in that process because that is definitely different, you know, because you have on gloves and it's just the tactile sensation is not there like it is when you don't have on gloves and so sometimes you just don't know what you're feeling right but that is something that I'm working on too but I you know was learning how to do that also um oh fetal heart tone monitoring monitoring learning how to read the strip and and you know know the categories and all of that I think that's that's super important and so learning how to do that, we were doing that, reading some practice bulletins on that. That was really important too. Um, what else did I learn? Because I don't want this to be too long. I'm already at like six minutes. Oh my God. Um, let's see. Oh yeah. And also learning how to deliver a baby, <laughs> the proper way to deliver a baby. Um, I was taught that. What else? Oh, suturing. So suturing, we have been working on that as well, just using like pig feed and chicken, um, learning how to do knot tying. And also we had Nexplanon training, which is basically a long acting reversible, reversible contraceptive. And so we had training on how to insert that. And that was basically it for my first week. And I mean, I know it doesn't sound like a lot, but it was a lot. And you know, if you haven't done anything like that before, it's a lot, you know? And um, I had got a message on Instagram from one of my, uh, well, she's, I guess she would be like a colleague now. She doesn't, she's not in my program, she's in another program. And she was saying how, you know, she's working so many 24 hours already and she's doing the same thing. And just, you know, we've been talking about like, what we're doing in our programs. And she actually hadn't had an intern school. So I was very fortunate to be able to have an intern school. She's kind of just learning on the floor and people are just teaching her on the floor. So I am fortunate, I am thankful. <laughs> and I'm glad that the transition that I have is not as harsh as, it sorry, my camera died. <laughs> um, but yeah, that's basically it. I mean, I'm learning a lot. And the learning curve is definitely steep, right? But I always get reassurance. And that is very, very important to me because even if I make a mistake, and I don't even wanna call it a mistake, it's just because I don't know. Um, it's still So yeah, so first week basically, you know, has been really great. Um, and you know, that's basically it. That is my update. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, I didn't know quite what everyone was looking for because um, the questions that I received on Instagram were just very general regarding like, you know, just what am I doing? What am I liking most and stuff like that at this point, And I didn't even I didn't answer that. Um, but I would say I'm liking just most learning, just learning how to be a good doctor and trying to create, you know, the relationships with people that I've never met before. Um, and so that is really enjoyable for me and, and that's what I've been loving the most. 
but yeah so i would try to make another video um i know the next one will be like what's in my doctor's bag because that's what other people have been asking they want to know like what i took to work um and so that'll probably be the next video but just keep your notification bell on and you will get a notification when a video is uploaded i don't have a set schedule but i try to put the videos out on fridays um but not every friday but it will be on a friday and yeah if you guys like this video don't forget to subscribe to my channel and share this video and like this video and if you have any video ideas leave it down in the comment section and yeah and, i'll talk to you and, guys later and the script the, the <laughs> subscribe button again in my videos yeah <laughs> bye